Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Channel 2S. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and today I am very excited to bring you guys the unboxing of the Master Grade High Mobility Gelgoog Uma Lightning Custom. This is a premium Bandai Master Grade, and oh boy, this kit is massive. This is a big box. Just to put things in perspective, that's the XN Risers box. That's the High Mobility Gelgoog's box. I just want to make it clear to you guys how big this thing is. The box art on this kit is exactly what you would expect from a premium Bandai model. It's just a Photoshop picture of a finished model flying through space. What I did notice though is that there's actually a couple of Goku cannons hiding out in the background. There's one here underneath his left arm and another down at the bottom. Also this guy's hiding up in the top left corner. Since this is a premium Bandai model, there is nothing else worth mentioning on the box. There is a lot of stuff in this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bags of parts. We haven't even gotten to the runners yet. And finally, in the bottom of the box, we have a full color manual, which is not something I was expecting to see. I'm definitely gonna have to take a closer look at this later. So there were 26 runners inside of those bags, and I'm not gonna go through all of them since a lot of them are just old Gilgook 2.0 runners. However, I'm gonna talk about all the new stuff, and that's still gonna be a pretty substantial amount of plastic because approximately half of this model is new material. Starting off, we got the polycap runner. This one's not actually a new runner. I just wanted to show you this one because it has some really big ball joints in it, and I just, I like looking at them. They look cool. This runner is actually from the Gelgu Cannon of all places. The 01 and 02 runners contain some dark blue slash purple parts for the high mobility backpack and other areas. The two new P runners focus on the feet and legs primarily, also cast in a sort of dark blue slash purple plastic. N1 and N2 are two new runners, multicolored, giving us a variety of new armor pieces for the Gelgoog high mobility type, including a very nice pair of red sensor pieces. The R2 runner and the very, very, very long R1 runner. Seriously, look at how big this thing is. That's a roughly normal size runner. This thing's massive. These two runners contain the parts for the Gelgoog High Mobility Types weapons, primarily the missile pods and the new rifle. Finally, we have Q1, which includes some new large armor panels, and Q2, which is made out of a very rubbery, very pliable plastic. I really like the way these feel. It's kind of relaxing, actually. almost don't want to build a kit. I just want to kind of scrunch these up in my hands over and over again. I don't know how this is used, I don't know where it's used, but somewhere on this build, we're gonna have to screw something together, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now that all the parts are out of the way, let's get a closer look at these water slides. Unless I missed something, there are no foil stickers included with this model, and the only markings you get are on this water slide sheet. There's some really cool markings on here, I especially like that Zeonic one. Also the one that just says grenade. I don't know why. I just like it. I'm gonna run through all the rest of these runners really, really quick, because they're just normal Gelgoog parts. So we got some gray pieces, blue pieces, different gray parts, another one of that same runner, more blue, more gray, more gray, more blue. Looks like they removed the old non-high mobility leg panels from this runner. We got a multicolored runner with a lot of parts missing from it. Cool little pilot figures, more gray, bunch of weapon parts, and a nice big multicolor runner. I am so looking forward to breaking out these effect parts. So I took a quick peek at the manual because I thought there might be something interesting on the inside, maybe some like color splash pages in the middle, but no, it's just a, it's pretty much just a basic manual. Other than what you see on the front and back, it is just build instructions. There was a lot of cool stuff in this box and I am looking forward to this kit, but I think I'm probably gonna build the Gion Krieger first. This guy won't be far behind though. So if you want to see my eventual review of this model, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Of course, if you like this video, as always, you should hit the like button. And as always, I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.